guys, welcome back to some more Motorsport Manager and part 10 of season 2 of our Force India career mode on the ice mod and today we have the Belgian Grand Prix. I am back from holiday which means I'm ready to record fresh. So many of you guys have been uh, mentioning the reliability in the comments the last few episodes and you must be frustrated at the fact that I haven't done anything but it was because I bulk recorded everything. Um, while I was on holiday, you'll be glad to know I've switched around the staff um, on the improved parts, so everybody's going to be working on reliability, at least for the next couple of races. It might be a little bit too little too late, but if we can get the reliability sort by sort of here, and then have a really good run in, we could still do alright in the championship. I have applied for the Renault job, um, so they're considering my, um, I guess offer or application now um, and well hopefully we can go to Renault that would be a really good opportunity uh, maybe bring one of these two guys with us Fernando or Sergio Perez but anyway that's a, a discussion for another day uh, if you haven't seen the season so far it's been absolutely terrible uh, Sergio Perez is currently in 14th position Fernando Alonso in 15th <clears throat> and we're in 9th in the championship it's really really not going well uh, interestingly Sebastian Vettel is leading the championship by 13 points despite not winning a race yet uh, I thought that was something interesting that I've picked up on so there you go there's the Renault job application we might as well get into this now uh, and we'll see how things go as always we will be going soft on the tyres um, yeah it's gonna be interesting getting back into this game I uh, haven't played it for a good couple of weeks now, so I have no idea how this is going to go. Um, yeah, I, somebody was saying it, that I should just um, put only put parts in when they're at the most reliable, but as you can see, I've pretty much got the most reliable uh, parts in the cars. We just haven't got a very reliable car, I think that's what it is. Uh, but hopefully this weekend will be good. Um, yeah, Belgium. I no, we didn't win it last year. That's a nonsense thing to say. Um, yeah, it's going to be an interesting one, though. Oh, hopefully you guys are good, though. Had a good couple of weeks since um, I've last been in the UK, but you've still seen me, weirdly. But I had an amazing time in Italy. And uh, go and check out my channel update that was released a couple of days ago because I've got some footage of when I was in an F1 simulator uh, last week, which was incredible. So go and check that out um, if you, you get time. But yeah, let's uh, simulate practice um, and just get through it nice and quickly because we all want to get into qualifying and the race today um, so Alonso looks a, a bit quicker than Perez although Perez has just put in a, a decent lap there at the end Alonso well down the field um, yeah let's put a brand new set on we'll see how he does here is it going to go any better? no I guess the, the track's just went well actually Alonso just moved up at the end there only a couple of tenths behind Sergio Perez now rather than the four tenths he was before uh, just check everything is recording it is um, so Lewis Hamilton quickest in practice not a, a great surprise there um, but clear weather for qualifying which is good um, yeah well, we don't want uh, we might as well do that anyway because there's nothing else to put in um, yeah, not happy with the setup terribly. He just wants a tiny bit more uh, down four, so I think we can give him that. Uh, if we just do. Well, we might as well just do it on the front wing. Um, yeah, I'm assuming he just wants a bit more like that. Um, he wants something near the middle. For top speed, does he? No, he wants something near that. Okay, you can do that. That's fine. 
That looks good. So Perez's car uh, is looking good. What about Fernando? Well, that's all right. Um, wants a, a lot more of that, which is fine. Uh, wants a bit more top speed. I think that that looks good for Fernando actually. So we're getting a qualifying, and hopefully manage to do something good. Can't remember whose turn it is, but we'll send Fernando out first. Um, and see how he does. We'll send Perez out as well. I still haven't seen the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. I heard it was very, very good though. Um, a lot of drama happening in it. Uh, so I'll see if I can download it on demand or something. Channel 4 highlights and have a have a, have a look at it. Um, it's meant to have been one of the best Grand Prix in a long time. So, oh no, no, no. Bring in, bring in. I should have looked at the weather forecast, really. Um, I mean, not everybody's gone out on soft tyres, so yeah, it could have been a lot worse. Uh, we'll send them straight out there on intermediate tyres. Uh, and we'll send Perez out there as well on the inters, try and get a, a time in quickly. Um, obviously you only get one shot in qualifying um, yeah it's going to be interesting though it really is it looks like it is going to drop off the the sort of wetness of the track but yeah Hamilton going quickest at the moment on super softs I don't quite know how he's managing that um yeah, well, it's because the intermediate people haven't gone out yet. Or gone on to the um, hot laps yet. We'll keep an eye on Fernando Alonso. We'll see how he does. Um, yeah, Marcus Erickson currently going fastest. That's quite hilarious. What about Fernando? Fernando could be a big player here. Really could be. Or do we bring him in now? I mean, Alonso's going to go quickest. Do we have time to get in and put the super softs back on? Oh, this is a big decision. We're going to bring them in. And put the super softs back on. I know chopping and changing, but yeah, I think it's the best decision to make. I'll send Alonso straight out there. Well, not straight out there, actually. We're going to have to time this. So it's about a two minute lap. But we're going to have to time this absolutely spot on. So we'll send them out when that red line gets to the end of the dampness send them out now I guess um, we'll send Perez straight out after him everybody's gonna be fumbling around to try and get a, a, a good lap in oh, nervous times I mean Will Power is on pole at the moment Obviously, people who were on intermediates were the, the ones in the best situation at that time, but it's going to be whoever's last man over the line, really, who's got the best grip, who's got clear track. Alonso's got a decent amount of clear track. Perez is, is not too far behind him in clear air as well. Um, so here comes Fernando Alonso. Let's see how he does. Um... Obviously, everybody's going to be going quicker than, than before. Uh, Alonso currently going green. Perez, very, very close to him. I think they're on identical first sector splits. That's incredible. So 10.4 up in the second. Yeah. They're both going very, very quickly. Yeah. 
Raikkonen's gone quickest. Here comes Alonso. Where's he going to go? He goes third. What about Perez? He comes through. He goes fourth. So, our two Force India boys have got up there. The session is finished. Everybody's going to come through with a quicker lap, you would imagine. Verline goes up. Power, where's he going to fit in? He only goes 17th. So, 7th and 8th in the Grand Prix. We can be very, very pleased with that. Lewis Hamilton on pole position, though. No real shocks in that top 8. I think us getting into the top 8 with both cars is a very, very good achievement. We made the most of that. Fernando Alonso slightly out-qualifying Sergio Perez there. But yeah, things looking good there. Very, very happy with that. So going into the race. Uh, might as well go for that. And go for that. Uh, that's looking alright. Um, and yeah, we'll just attack from the outset. Try and get a good start. See where we fit into all this. <clears throat> Only 13 laps at this Grand Prix. We'll put them both on auto. Five red lights. Lights out. Away we go. Fernando Alonso off to a, a good stop. But Perez's sort of second phase was better. But through the first lap, uh, or first few corners, I should say, uh, Perez is outperforming Fernando. He's now up to sixth uh, is Sergio Perez. He's ahead of Raikkonen and Ricardo, who's had a poor start. Kvyat has got all the way up to fifth. I don't know what's happened there. Uh, uh, who was up there? I guess Verstappen must have been up there, but... Wow. Yeah, what a poor start from Ricardo and Reichen and Perez up to 6th. Alonso in 7th, uh, maintaining his place from the start. I don't know how Kvyat has made it that far up. I can't remember where he quite saw, but Perez has made a move on Danny Kvyat down the inside. Staying side by side, but there we go. He's through... Yep, he's through now, and now in clear air, he's behind championship leader Sebastian Vettel. Um, so Fernando Alonso being battled for seventh place with Kimi Raikkonen, former teammates of course, and now he makes a move past Danny Kvyat, so a fourth and sixth at the moment. Weather forecast is looking good uh, for now. We're going to move down to me neutral and medium, and we're going to do the same for Fernando. And move that up to two, and yeah, keep an eye on our two Force India cars, fourth and fifth at the moment. Uh, it looks like Bot uh, no, sorry, that's Vettel. Thought that might have been Bottas, but it wasn't. Um, yeah, Alonso battling, but ultimately getting overtaken by Kimi Raikkonen. Perez still in sixth position. And Alonso, sorry, fourth position. Alonso is in sixth at the moment, so this would be a really good haul for us if we could bring it home. Uh, the condition is looking very good at the moment, so hopefully things are on the up. Um, so coming up to lap four of this Grand Prix, right, and then having a big look at Sergio Perez should be able to pass does pass but Perez still battling side by side with Raikkonen truly Raikkonen's going to go through though and he does and now Fernando Alonso closing in on Sergio Perez trying to take a fifth place away from him he goes down the inside but Perez isn't having any of it and well we've got Sebastian Vettel the championship leader going through past both of them this is good racing though from our two boys and we're fifth and sixth at the moment that will be an incredible result for us and it would really help us out in the championship. So Alonso currently fending off uh, the likes of Ricardo and Vettel in sixth place. And Perez only a couple of seconds up uh, the road. Not even that. Alonso closing in every now and then. So tyres wise we're, we're doing okay. Um, yeah. I, I can't see any reason why we would... Uh, need to come in anytime soon. Got well over half of the tyre life left. Uh, we're closing up to Kimi Raikkonen actually. Giovinazzi in third position at the moment. Lewis Hamilton leading this race from for, uh, by 2.8 seconds from Valtteri Bottas, his teammate, and Giovinazzi uh, is only a second and a half behind him in third. Raikkonen obviously dropped back because he was caught behind our cars at the start, but. Yeah, things are looking good. Ricardo closing in on Fernando Alonso and is through. Um, 
is understandable. But we'd like to avoid Vettel overtaking us. Could really help Lewis Hamilton in the championship as well. Um, so Perez, I think, is going to push his tyres. Um, I'm going to see what he can do. We might as well push Fernando's tyres as well. Bring them in in a couple of laps time. So, yeah, I don't think this lap is going to be the one where we pit, but you never know. We'll keep an eye on the tyre wear. It's 42% at the moment on both cars. Um, weather forecast is looking good for now. I think we'll bring Perez in this lap. Uh, what about the parts? How are they looking? Not great. Over half the race done. I think we're going to have to... Yeah. I mean, that's 40 seconds. Uh, it's not much more, though, is it? Yeah, we'll do that. Should we try and go... F well, it's not going to save him much, is it? Um, so we'll go on to the soft tyres. We'll bring him in. Might be a bit more riskier with Fernando Alonso. Um, we'll leave him out an extra lap, I think. Um, and see how he does. We'll see where Perez comes out. So Alonso's still pushing on Daniel Ricciardo. We're going to bring him in this lap. We're going to put the super soft, uh, sorry, the soft tyres on. Um, going to have to fix that. That. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to do that. Unfortunately, um, I've learned from one mistakes before, and I'd rather finish the race with the potential of some points then have a <coughs> a quicker pit stop and and then and then not finishing the points but yeah so Perez has come out 83 seconds off the leader that's a hell of a lot um, but nobody has come into the pits yet so yeah we'll just have to hope that everything goes swimmingly uh, Fernando looks like he's going to come out a hell of a lot ahead of Sergio Perez, which is odd, but I guess they didn't have the same things fixed. Um, so yeah, we'll just have to keep an eye on them. Alonso's about 44 seconds, sorry, 67 seconds off the leader. But uh, people coming into the pits now, hopefully they're going to need um, parts fixed as well. And we'll be able to get back into the points um, and finish this race. That would be the best case scenario, but yeah, people aren't really fixing their parts. We're, we seem to have thrown it away a bit here, but yeah, if we can get both cars to the, the end, that'd be that'd be a, a nice change. Um, yeah, might as well push the engine as well. There's only three laps remaining. I don't think we're going to get any better than this. And bringing up the rear, we're not even going to get past Verline, I don't think. Well, Alonso's just onto the same straight as him. Uh, but some people have gone for the zero stop strategy so far. Which is interesting. How's Perez doing? He's still well behind. Oh no, they're still feeling issues with the car, so. Yeah. Bit of a shame. I think uh, our time at Force India is, is wearing very thin. We might be at Renault in the next episode, you never know. Uh, but Alonso's managed to make it up to 18th. We've overtook somebody in the pits. Paganau. Paganau. Um, is Perez going to be able to get round him? Perhaps. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, on to the last lap now though. Some people have still managed to, to go without any pit stops. Which has hurt us a bit, but we weren't really in any hope of getting any points today. Uh, we probably should have just risked it for a biscuit, but... Uh, hindsight is a wonderful thing. Bad strategy calls here. Yeah. Just lost too much time in the pits. We were running 5th and 6th, looking very good. But reliability coming into play once again. Um, I think if we'd left them out there, issues would have happened anyway, and we would have finished uh, low down in the field. Um, Alonso's coming round now. He's going to finish 18th, which is very, very disappointing. Perez is going to come round, and he's going to finish in 20th. Really, really poor. Very unlucky. Uh, quite sad about that. Um, yeah. Valtteri Bottas won the race. Don't know what happened to Lewis Hamilton. I guess it was just strategy that got that. Uh, but Lewis Hamilton finishing only third. Vettel down in ninth. So that'll shake the championship up a little bit. Um, obviously that's fine. Anybody getting penalties doesn't look like it. So Bottas wins. Giovinazzi in second. Hamilton third. Kimi Räikkönen in fourth. Castro Neves on a zero stop strategy in fifth. Uh, Urutia and Palmer in the points as well. Uh, Sebastian Vettel, former championship leader, down in ninth. So that is really close at the top now. Level on points, 132 each. Daniel Ricciardo hanging on to the coattails in third with Bottas and Raikkonen uh, still in with a chance fourth and fifth. And Giovinazzi not too far off either. Um, Constructors-wise... Mercedes well ahead. Uh, we're on 22 points at the moment, so a few good performances um, towards the end of the season. And we could still potentially finish fifth, but um, yeah, we're going to need some improvements, aren't we? But uh, yeah, that is going to be about that. We'll keep an eye on any notices. We may have been sacked, to be honest with you. That was such a such a terrible Grand Prix for us. Um, I can't actually believe how poor the strategy was. He's very unhappy with us. Um, we've lost so much money in the Grand Prix. Um, yeah, brakes have been built, which is good. Uh, what does that say? Below target. So let's have a look at the, the new brakes then. We'll see how they are. Uh, they're the new ones. Um, not too bad reliability wise. Certainly better than other ones, but it could, it could be a lot better. Um, I want an interview. Oh dear. <laughs> Format emits. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, so let's do the interview then. Oh dear. We may have been sacked. He's on zero. Maybe not. Okay then, that is going to be where we end this episode. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Make sure you do leave a like down below. If you did, it uh, really does mean a lot for me and for the channel as well. Go and check out the channel update if you're interested in some F1 simulator stuff. Um, yeah, I'd really appreciate that. Anyway, I uh, hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.